guys, I have with me the Harum Manis Mango all the way from Perlis. Yes, all the way from up north Perlis. Yes, Harum Manis Mango are uh, very popular among the Malaysian right now. Okay, look, this is the Harum Manis Mango. It is quite small in size, not very big. All right, almost a, a size of a hand like that. All right, see, it's almost similar. And the color of this fruit is green. Alright, so when it's ripe, it won't turn into yellow or turn into orange or any other colors. It will still remain green. Yes, it has got a bit uh, of a smell, very uh, strong, slightly strong fragrance of this fruit. Very nice fragrance, very different than the rest of other mangoes that you can find in the market. Alright, so this is uh, uh, our local produced Harumani's mango. Alright, only in Perlis you can actually plant this mango and it is only harvested once a year they can only harvest one time in the whole year alright so it is pretty much uh, right I can smell the, the very nice fragrant smell and then it's slightly soft okay and that's where you know it's already right I'm gonna cut out okay All right, there you go. Ah, the Harumani's mango. Mmm, smells good. All right, take a look at this. Wow, it's so juicy. Mmm. Amazing, it's very sweet, juicy, and it's uh, the fragrance of this harmonies is really, really special. Okay, but I just have to have to uh, also warn you something because of this mango that it has got this uh, strong smell, it actually attracts easily fruit flies or any kind of flies, especially when you put it outside at home next to a sun next to a window with some sunlight so that it can ripen it is actually quite easy to attract fruit flies or flies that comes and bite it as soon as it bite it sometimes you will may get uh, inside may be a bit rotten so you have to be careful on, on, on that right yeah take all this yeah here here you go right This is the Haru Manis Mango. Okay, so once again, guys, this is the Haru Manis Mango, all the way from Perlis. All right, so it is being harvested only once in the year. As soon as they pluck it from the tree, it is not ripened yet. You still have to wait for a few days to ripen. I suggest you to actually place this road next to a window with a sunlight, with some sunlight. As soon as you can actually smell a bit of a uh, nice fragrant smell from this fruit alright so it pretty much ripened already my suggestion to you as soon as you find that it is ripened and it is slightly soft you put in the chiller or in your fridge for another day alright so the next day you take it out and then you cut it and you eat it it is even more wonderful even more tasty that's only my suggestion because I did that last year and it was really amazing okay so see so the color of this fruit will not turn yellow or turn any other color when it ripens you only need to monitor this fruit uh, that is slightly softer and there is a bit of a very fragrant smell okay that comes out from this fruit I also have to inform that it is this fruit that they do not use any pesticides all right so it is easily can attract fruit flies that comes and bite this fruit as soon as the fruit flies or flies that come and bite you may see or may get sometimes it becomes rotten inside all right but outside it looks wonderful it looks like you know it is not small it looks normal i'm gonna cut and show it to you right now okay wow take a look at this you see it's beautiful it's wonderful wow, it's so soft there's no fiber on it look 
Oh. See? It's so soft and low fiber. Mm. It's so sweet and it's so nice. It's really different, so much kind. I mean, so different from the kind of any other food of mango that I've tasted. You have to get it to me. Bye!